Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on the GUI minigame Rush Hour. So this is a puzzle based minigame that you can play on your own. So I'm going to show you a quick example. This is level 1. As you can see there are lots of different stained clay blocks and these represent cars or lorries or something. And you have to get the red car, which is here, into the garage which is over here. Now you can see um, this is level 1, difficulty beginner, and it shows you how many moves you have taken. So it is best to do it in as small amount of moves as you can. If you cannot do it, you can click the redstone torch up here to show the solution. So as you can see, um, they are moving by themselves and it shows you the correct way of doing it. So I did this earlier, it took me um, 16 seconds, I can't remember how many moves. But we can check out my stats by doing rush hour and then stats followed by a player's name, which is going to be my name and then the level which is 1. So as you can see I've played it once, it took me 16 seconds and how many moves is the shortest solution. So we can create a sign for each puzzle, there is up to 40 at the moment, you can create your own so I'm going to show you that a bit later. So on the top line do rush hour, two H's there and on the second line uh, the map or the level name. So 1 to 40, let's choose 20. So this is probably quite difficult, this is intermediate, and as you can see they're all clumped together, it looks pretty complicated. So um, hmm, how are we going to do this, we move that there, move this up a bit, um, if we move this up a bit as well, we can move these two over here. So these are, these are great to just test, um, see whether you can actually complete them, oh I did that pretty well actually. So you keep clicking, left or right, and there we go, I did it. I actually did that very well. Um, so let's try number 40, which presumably is the hardest. Rush, hour, and 40. There we go. So let's have a look at this. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So if we move it up, we can click Show Solution, and we can see how it's meant to be done correctly. So level 40 took 51 moves and over a minute. So what we're going to do is um, show you how to use the command. It's very simple. Rush, hour, play, and then a level name level 30 that is advanced and you can also spectate people if you want to see uh, how they do it so spectate and a username if someone's doing it and yeah so that is everything in game which is pretty awesome we are going to go to the website now and create our own map it probably won't be very good but uh, let's have a look anyway so here we are on the level editor and as you can see we have the grid up here so to start with we are going to select um, 2x2 and this is going to be where our main car is so click add car and it will pop there we can then start to add other cars as well so let's go up here and put in maybe a yellow lorry so this will be three long as cars are only too long as well so we can add as many as we want obviously the more you add the harder it will be and you can obviously change the colors maybe put a truck here as well so um, that is how you add various different vehicles. Um, let's choose a different one, silver, there we go. Oh, there's already a car there. Uh, okay, it needs to be horizontal, problem solved. So then we can add a name, so let's just call it easy, it wouldn't be too difficult. Select difficulty, it's going to be beginner. And then puzzle solution. So what we need to do is um, choose how we solve this. So. We need to find the name of this, which is the blue lorry, which is Q. So it needs to be car ID, which is Q. Direction is going to be down, and it's going to be down one. There we go. Hit space, and we need to select X, which is the name of that car. So X needs to go right for uh, one, two, I don't know, three maybe, four. Yes, let's just do four. So it goes uh, one, two, three, four. So all of it goes into the garage. So then we need to generate JSON and download the level. Once you've done that, you can pop it into your puzzles folder, like that. And then you, your players will be able to play it in game via command or via the signs. So if we go into the config file, there isn't really much in here. You can change the materials of the cars if you really want to. And you can change what line the level is on as well so um, not much in there really and then there's the messages so I wouldn't bother messing around with this but you could change colors or 
um, what the levels are called. So I wouldn't really mess around with that. So that's the plugin. It has been brought to you by Gaelicraft, a fantastic townie server. Check this out and the townie server in the description. And I'll see you next time.